if you're looking at a system and you've got more than 12 lights, you might want to upgrade to a slightly bigger transformer. So uh, this is a transformer you find it in all our premium kits that have uh, usually 20 lights or more. Um, and it's a 150 watt transformer, so it's a little bit bigger, so you can fit a little bit more lights on it. So again, you know, you could get up to 120, 130 watts on this transformer and have no problem running your lights. So that's roughly 20 to 25, sometimes 30 or 40 lights, depending on what, uh, what type of light that you're using. So uh, a little bit bigger transformer. The other reason I like this one too, is that the terminals on it um, are a little bit bigger. So if you need to fit more than one wire in to each one of these terminals, you can easily do that. Uh, whereas on some of the smaller transformers, you can't do that. And I'll explain in a second why that's important. The other thing that I like about these ones, a little bit bigger, is that the, uh, the voltage taps on these are 15 volts. So what that means is that instead of it just starting at 12 volts, you're actually starting at 15 volts which means now you can lose even more power or more voltage drop along that line and still have your lights work um, at 100% efficiency. So like I said before, most of the LED bulbs that are out there are gonna run very efficiently at anywhere from nine to 15 volts. So you can lose up to six volts uh, down the line with this transformer and still have those lights at the end working properly. Um, and just to kind of sum that up, what that looks like is that's roughly uh, 25 to 30 lights on a line that is 300 feet out before you start even having to worry about losing 6 volts of uh, uh, voltage down the line. But a, a trick up um, that I'll mention with that is one thing you can do too is say you have a system with 40 lights and you don't think and the transformer is big enough to handle it because some of them are, um, are path lights maybe that only use 2 watts so you can easily fit those 40 um, those 40 lights on this transformer, but you're worried about the voltage drop because you have to run some of those a long ways out. So say they're on two sets of the driveway um, and you're, you're worried about losing all that voltage. What you can do now is you can actually put one line that comes out of the transformer that goes one way and then another line that comes out and goes to the other set of lights. So you could have 20 lights on one and 20 lights on the other, but you're still starting at 15 volts at the tap which means you're not losing all the voltage drop if you had, as if you had 40 lights on that system, you're really only losing as if you had 20 because you've got 15 volts starting from here and you get that all the way down the line, down both runs. So that's a easy way to do that. If you don't wanna to have to add multiple transformers and you wanna save some money, you can do that. You can run two separate lines. You can even run three and easily fit those wires into this, uh, into this terminal. And same thing to make this Wi-Fi. You can easily do that with the uh, with the Wyon timer, same thing, you plug this into your receptacle, you plug this guy into your Wyon timer, and then you just flick the on switch and leave it on, and then you control everything via your app or your Amazon Alexa.